When you open the Symantec EDR Cloud Console, the task page appears. The task page helps you identify the items that require your immediate attention. On the search page, click Cloud to open the cloud search. You can select a predefined search from the catalog, or you can enter a text-based query. Click on an appliance and perform the same searches that you performed in ATP Manager. The dashboard lets you see what's occurring on your appliance at a glance. Investigation playbooks automate useful data mining procedures to help you quickly analyze forensic information related to the endpoints in your environment. You select a playbook category from the library and then select the playbook you want to use. Create policies to control user access to sites and files. Blacklist policies are only supported for semantic EDR appliances. However, whitelist policies are supported for both appliances and in the cloud environment. Actions taken through the endpoint communications channel appear in the cloud environment log. Select an appliance to view the actions log, which contains actions taken on entities, and the system activity log, which contains information about system-related activities for the semantic endpoint EDR appliance. The types of reports you can generate depend on whether you generate the report from the cloud environment, cloud environment contains built-in report templates that you can run, or for an appliance. The registration page is where you create manage and configure the EDR cloud dissolvable agent servers and dissolvable agents. You also use this page to register any EDR appliances you have. Before you can use the dissolvable agent to collect endpoint data, you first create a dissolvable agent server. You can also use this menu to manage the servers. After creating the dissolvable agent server, you can create dissolvable agents to collect endpoint data. You also use this menu to manage the agent configurations. This is where you register the semantic EDR appliance and view information about the appliances that you've already registered. The accounts page is where you add and manage customer and user accounts for EDR cloud and EDR appliances. Configure semantic EDR settings here. The cloud settings page provides agent keys you use to configure collection service agents and the agent download links. For your appliances, you can configure global settings, such as configuring Synapse and setting up the CEPM controller. Configure settings specific to the appliance, such as the proxy information, and data sharing settings, such as registering your appliance with the EDR cloud. If you need more information in the console, click on the question mark icon for context-sensitive help and access to the full online help for the EDR console.